Hi Virgos, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. For those who have subscribed, thank you. Love you lots. I appreciate it. Trust me. I always love for these messages to go through to the collectives that really need to hear it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I really appreciate that. Um, also, I appreciate all of the comments that you leave behind. Um, thank you for sharing your story with me. Um, I, I Trust me, I love it um, when, when my viewers do do that. Um, if you're viewing me for the first time, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages, okay? Virgo, I was not sure if you know this, but I do little miniature love reads, okay? So while you wait for your general tarot card reads, which this is going to be a general tarot card read, I do little miniature love reads in between your readings, okay? Today I'm going to be using my Game of Thrones and I'm going to be clarifying it with my TV series tarot deck, okay? Let's get started. Alright, so um, I have here the King of Pentacles the temperance and the hermit okay okay <laughs> all right so we got two majors here this is you the hermit which is um it's an earth sign if that means anything to you um so that would be taurus virgo sagittarius no sorry this is a sagittarius card uh, Capricorn is what I meant. But Sagittarius comes before Capricorn. Um, somebody is probably taking classes, um, learning a craft, a skill, um, may want to take classes, um, may want to switch careers. Uh, it could be for... Um, better pay um, um, just getting better at, at what you do whatever it is that you do um, career wise um, yeah it's like something like it's like you woke up one day and you're like you know what F it this is what I'm gonna do with my life now so it's like a wake-up call um, if I had to say so myself and and with the King of Pentacles um, I just sense again it's like for a better foundation um, maybe you're you're looking at your future and you're like you know I need to really take care of my family and I and, and is my family gonna be okay when you know when something if something happens to me you know in, in some shape form or other you know if you have a family if you don't you still I feel like you're trying to build a foundation okay from from the ground up um, that's what I get from these three cards. Okay, let's clarify it. All right, so we have the lovers and the world. Interesting. Virgos. Um, what's going on here? <laughs> we have four majors. Four out of five. All right, interesting. All right, so the lovers, Gemini energy, and another, like, the Saturn. This is a Saturn card, um, which is an Earth energy as well. Um, sorry, um, I just keep looking at the temp, because Jupiter st is standing out to me. The polar opposite of Jupiter is Gemini. Um, I don't know if you're, I mean, the full opposite of Sag is Gemini, but I don't know the Jupiter, Jesus, something's, hold on, Virgos, because there's something really standing out to me, astrological wise, um, like big time, and, and I'm trying to figure this out like a freaking puzzle here. This has to do with a past life. <sighs> this has to do with a past life. I'm sorry. Um
Okay, got it. Um, let's look at the temperance again. Um, now, this may not resonate with everyone, okay? If you're into past life regression or past life recall, welcome. <sighs> of course, not everybody has that abil ability to do past life recall, right? It's okay. That's why I'm here. <sighs> Someone in their past life was either working in the clergy, was into spirituality, and if you, you're doing this in this lifetime, great. But that is inside of you. That is your lineage. That is in your bloodline to be inside a um, some type of um, either you know monastery like what you see in front of you. Um, in this scene, um, this this character in Game of Thrones, um, Games of Thrones, or Game of Thrones. Yeah, thank you. Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, is studying. Okay, obviously it's study. It, he's studying, um, and he's getting into the nitty gritty like he's by the way if you see a he or if i say a he or she it does not i'm not sp I'm picking um a specific gender okay it's just energies that i'm picking up but if the image is that gender um that depiction then i'm just saying that because that's what i see in the image okay moving on um Someone here has the, a bloodline lineage of, of working in, in, in the monastery, some type of um, clergy, um, definitely some type of spiritual um, uh, higher learning. Um, you were married to someone before. Um, it was definitely a marriage. Again, I'm, st I'm staying in the past life. You were married to someone before that you actually met in this lifetime with my world card and my hermit. And I'm sorry, I know I took things left turn. <laughs> I, this is what I go through. Um, yeah, this is a left turn, but the first story still applies. Okay, just bear with me because I think it all ties in to tell you the truth. Um, so this is you in your present life, okay? This is the world card. The world card, which is this card here, is your future. Well, not your future, but your present life, right? We're talking about this incarnation. That's what I meant. This is your incarnation. This is you in this incarnation. Now, some of you may have the ability to have amazing intuition, spirituality, um, plus, plus, I don't know. There is some skill here that you need to open your eyes to. And I think you have, but you're trying to ignore it. Now, some of you um, are very aware of this. You're trying to figure out what the heck is going on with you. And I think with my temperance card and the hermit, which was on my first two spread, is that's exactly what you're trying to figure out. Um, you may be seeking a mentor. You may be... Um, you know, you maybe already know know some type of, um, I mean, I think it just really doesn't stop at spirituality, to tell you the truth. I think it goes beyond that, like, past the 3D world, you know? Um, intuition um, is a great way. A lot of you um, do meditate, I feel. Um, try to eat right. I mean, I'm not surprised the sixth house, which is you, Virgo, does represent um, health concern, health issues, but definitely looking right, you know, um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is a group of you are really trying to, um, expand yourself, bingo, expand your mind for the, for the most part. Um, and you could take that as it resonates. I'm just picking up some some lineage here, um, and this this is this is the uh, okay. We have the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles. I did say that you were going to build some type of foundation. You want to grow, expand. This makes very sense. Um, very much so. Um, the um, 
clarif the the first spread. It just explains the first spread. Thank you. <laughs> so you have to ex excuse me now. I apologize in advance. Mercury retrograde has been kicking my ass, and my communication sucks. All right. Um. Yeah. This is this is who you aspire to be. Now, what do you aspire to be? Someone that is building a foundation from the ground up. Someone that knows if something happens to them, their family is being taken care of. All right? This is a great husband, a great wife, the King of Pentacles. We want the King of Pentacles to come out because it is a, a strong business mind person as well, among other things. Okay? They hold on to money. Okay? They, they're not shrewds, but they know how to budget now, where does this lovers? This is where my this is where I'm a little confused. I and and I'm not confused, but I, I just started the reading, and and I'm sorry I'm staying in this first spread a lot. Usually I stay in my first spread um, more than I want to, but it does dictate the rest of the reading. I almost feel like you haven't met your twin flame or this soulmate of yours. Um, you do know them from your past life. I'm going to say soulmate for now. For now, I'm going to say soulmate. There is someone coming towards you. I don't know if you're going to meet this, but I almost feel like you're going to meet this person in the same type of um, field, same type of field or same type of um, spiritual work um, school, clergy, mentor, I don't know, anything that, listen, anything that has to do with the, uh, that does not pertain to the 3D world, let's just say it that way, that does not pertain to the 3D world, meditating is one of them, it could be as simple as meditating, and, um, and you met each other, you've met each other in your past life, but you haven't met yet in this in this lifetime okay i hope god i hope that made sense i know that was like left field but it wasn't to me <laughs> second spread all right so i have two of pentacles knight of cups eight of wands three of cups Well, one thing for sure is that um, some, some of you are in relationships, okay? With my Two of Pentacles, um, I do sense a foundation, a commitment that you're with. Now, is this person that I was talking about, your incarnation, um, soulmates from the past, um, your, your last incarnation, I mean, um, is, are you with this person in this lifetime? I think for some of you, yeah. You, you already are with this person. You are. Um, and when I mean you are with this person, it's a committed relationship. It's not somebody you met last week. It's not somebody where it's on and off breakup. I, th I think that you are really together, together. Now, for a group of you, I still think it's a, it's a future person. And that, and, and like, I don't know if you see the symbol. Like, when I see this symbol, it does remind me of the infinity sign. And again, I, I mean, com I'm comparing it with the world sign, past incarnation, your past lifetime. This is, this, Saturn. Let's talk about Saturn a little bit. I know I'm, a, I'm not all over the place, but whatever. Just bear with me. Saturn is a very, um, influential placement in our birth chart for the most part it dictates what happened in our last what the hell happened in our last past life that we need to learn in this lifetime yeah you see this couch um, I hope you could see the picture. There's a, uh, a picture, like a, not a portrait, but just a picture just laying there on the couch. 
but there's it's like a single person um it's just one person in that picture you know it's not a couple you know it it, it has wings i, I hope I, I'll, I'll it's like an angel let's just put it that way an angel now this angel i'm getting two stories but i think it really it really intertwines this angel sitting alone um, in this big couch is trying to pull your soulmate or pull your twin flame in this lifetime. They're in charge. Let's just say Cupid's arrow, okay? I, I mean, this is the Eight of Wands. And I did sense communication. Now, with my Three of Cups in, um, in the reverse, you haven't met. You haven't met this person. Um, but the, the Cupid arrow, like there's an angel and then I see like the eight of wands um, for the most part or, or not for the most part, but half the time it is considered as Cupid arrows. Communication. You're going to be communicated by someone you really like, love, or in your case, someone that's from the future. I mean, why do I say the future? The future is this. The future meaning this incarnation. Thank you. Um... Now, I think that's what it's saying, but I, I also think like your placement, um, your Saturn placement, going back to your birth chart. If you if you don't know what your Saturn placement is, that's that's okay. If you want to know, um, there is a, a website that I have in my um, des description box. You do have to put your date of birth in um, on this website, where you were born for time zone reasons. Um, if you know the time even better if you don't doesn't matter you'll stick you'll get you'll still get your Saturn placement my Saturn has to has my Saturn is in the fourth house my Saturn is in in cancer in the sign of cancer which is all about security home the family um, there's something that I did and I'm giving you an example there's something that I did or whatever happened to me in my past incarnation that I'm being punished for in this and goddamn if I wasn't being punished in this lifetime <laughs> for my Saturn being in, in, in the sign of cancer I don't know I don't know what the hell I, I must have been some type of gigolo in my past life that Saturn is teaching me in this lifetime oh no bitch learn yourself get to know yourself Heal yourself, love yourself before I give you a relationship long term. So needless to say, my relationships, my home life, my security has all gone down the drain for the most part. And I learned a lesson from it, from the Saturn placement, this card. So this is your future. This is your future love. Yeah, this this is your future love. This is this is your twin flame, your soulmate. Um, let's clarify it. All right. Um, I forgot about my Knight of Cups. Actually, my Knight of Cups is is your, and it doesn't matter, man or woman, partner, whoever you're going to meet in the future. Um, and I again, I sense it with my my Two of Pentacles because of this infinite. Like, you guys have met in, like incarnation after incarnation after incarnation no joke my first spread was all very spiritual with the hermit and the temperance and i get i got i was being pulled by these two i was just being pulled by like birth charts and the planets um which which is listen for those who doesn't who really doesn't believe in, in incarnation that's fine if you're very interested in it um astrologers i'm not one but um i do study it a lot astrologer a very good astrologer a seasoned astrologer can tell you everything about your birth chart your birth chart in this incarnation and your birth chart coming from the past incarnation they could they could tell immediately by looking at your birth chart what it means it is your blueprint of who you are in the journey that you're supposed to take in this lifetime and what what and who what you did and who you were and how that affects your incarnation in this lifetime now i know listen i know some of you are like i get it because you're into astrology as well 
some of you are like, I don't fucking get it. It's okay because um, this, this reading does have to do with a future partner. And here they are, right in front of your face. The Knight of Cups. I sense that it's going to be a slow relationship, but at the same time, not really. I think that you guys are going to gravitate to each other immediately. If it's a slow relationship, that's because it's free will. You de you decide, you know, maybe one of you are very busy with their life and can't, you know, deal with a love relationship. But it does. it's not going to stop you from communicating with each other. I, you take that as it resonates. I don't... I don't know. You guys are going to gravitate to each, to each other like a magnet. Okay? Yeah. And you haven't met this person. Okay? Not to go back to the same spread, but with my three of cups in the reverse, you haven't met this person. All right? I, I'm like 90% sure. But let's keep reading. To clarify it, nine of swords and three of swords. My nine of swords was in the reverse. Look at this. You're being looked at. I don't know. You have ancestors looking out for you. I Didn't I say something about somebody being spiritual, <laughs> having great intuition? I know I did. You know this. Now, I'm going to confirm it for you. You see how, how um, this woman or this teenager or whatever is on, on her bed, um, you know, crying. Oh my God, this just hit me hard. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to control myself. <laughs> I know that this is not going to resonate resonate for a lot of you, but this I feel like it will resonate for the majority of you. But you take what resonates, okay? Some of you cannot control the stress, depression, anxiety that you are, you were probably born with for your entire life. Um, I almost. Listen, I have Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, because you are the polar opposite of Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini. If those signs ring a bell in any way, perfect. If it doesn't, throw it out. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. I'm just throwing out some signs for you. Some of you wake up crying, and you don't know why. Some of you are sad and don't realize why? I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, you would never know why you're sad. You never know why you're stressed. You never know why you have anxiety. But some of you, some of you really wake up in the middle of the night trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm talking to people that have been depressed for, for a very long time, if not for their entire, their entire life. This specific group that I'm talking about is the past incarnation that you had with a twin flame or a soulmate. You lost this twin flame. You lost this soulmate. I don't know how um, because I'm not an astrologer, but when I, when I saw this couch with one, one picture, to me... It seemed like you lost this person out of nowhere. And listen, I'm doing a past life recall, okay? I, it, it, I'm not all over the place. I'm, a hope, I hope, I'm hoping that you're following along because I'm going back to your life recall in this incarnation. So I hope I'm being very clear. You lost your future partner. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna go with future partner. You lost your future partner very suddenly and you were left alone and you took this energy into this incarnation that energy that that loneliness that sadness from losing somebody that you really loved
I mean, sometimes energies you can't you can't get rid of. It. It, it's so strong that it literally goes into your next life. And I literally had to hold my tears back, and I'm sorry, because <laughs> I pick up energy very easily. Um, and I I could sense that a lot of you are very depressed, and you don't even know why. I, again, that's that that's what you call depression, right? Being melancholy. And that's putting it mildly. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you um, have recovered from some type of um, suicidal thoughts or may have suicidal thoughts here and there. And you don't know why. And and just just so you know, and, and I'm not a professional. I'm not a medical professional. I know that when people are depressed, even borderline suicidal, and people try to snap these type of souls out of what they're feeling because they're not depressed, because they don't feel what you're feeling, it's impossible. Now, does it work sometimes? Absolutely, with therapy and medication, yes. But you still don't know why you're depressed. You were carrying that depression from a past lifetime. You lost somebody that you loved dearly, suddenly, out of nowhere in your past lifetime. And you brought it into this lifetime because the energy was so strong, you couldn't help it. It, it just is. Sometimes it just is. Look at this. My three of swords. What the heck does that say to you? If this is not heartbreak, I don't know what is. Now, Three of Swords does mean heartbreak, betrayal. This is, this is your heart, Three Swords in it. You might have had a family with this person in your past incarnation. This is what's making you depressed. And I'm not talking to everybody. I, not everybody has suicidal thoughts. Some of you just are depressed and sad, you know, and maybe take a medication for it. But some of you have thought about it, if not even done it. You know, um, what do you call that? People that recover from suicide attempts? That's what it is. And you have no fucking idea why. I'm telling you why. I just told you why. Because this is what the reading is, is kind of... Um, like it's just it's just a reading Virgos okay this is your readings if it's vice versa you would know that more than me okay you may know somebody like this I, but I'm reading for Virgos last spread four wands four wands 11 11 twin flame this is your twin flame you had a family together a child maybe a boy This is all your past life. I don't know if you could see the couple walking down this um, atrium, if that's what they call it. Outside atrium, I could be wrong. I mean, your twin flame is, is here in this lifetime. It's, it's actually pretty sad, but pretty hopeful and, and, and pretty romantic, to say the very least. All right, I have one card um, to clarify that last spread. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. This is how you lost your partner in some shape, form, or other in, the, in your past left, lifetime. Do you see how this young gentleman is pulling this body it's bloodied up obviously they were in a car accident right some people die in car accidents suddenly some people you know may live for a little while but they die like you know a day later it just happens is what i'm saying i know that you lost your twin flame 
your soulmate at the very least in your past lifetime i don't know if you see this look at this this is divine when i see this this is divine the divinity the the your ancestors i, I felt your ancestors here look at them you were supposed to meet in this lifetime you are going to meet in this lifetime if you're with this person right now committed and you know that this is your twin flame or your soulmate then that's the person i'm talking about both of you have to be very spiritual though this is not a one-way street with both of you. i mean this is like this is like a twin flame soulmate like you ju you just get each other um, and that you, you lost this person in your past incarnation suddenly, suddenly. And so because of that, we have, you know, the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. And you're trying to figure out what happened. I'm telling you what happened. I'm just letting it, this, this is the whole spread. Your whole spread is it's telling me all this. At the bottom of the deck, I see the High Priestess. It was in the reverse. Um, like I said, some of you may be a, a Pisces. Um, I do correlate the, the High Priestess with Pisces, but it also can be Cancer, even Scorpio, any water sign. Um, I know you haven't met this person. You're, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know who this person is. If you met them, um, I don't know. With my, with my Strength card um, at the bottom of the deck in my TV series, um, Tarot deck, um, it could have been somebody at work, um, somebody that you know at work in this in this life, okay? In this life. <laughs> you just don't know who they are. I mean, look at the options that you have, Virgo. <laughs> um, but this is my strength card. Um, in, in, um, wow. I just, wow. I just sense an, um, ancestors looking at you and really taking care of you. Um, I also sense that with this card big time. Um, like this is them in a body form. <laughs> but this is really them over here um, in a non-body form. Uh, wow. Virgos, sometimes you give me some, some type of uh, soap opera reading, but this, I must say, is out of this world. Congratulations. <laughs> if you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.